a day after the storm. So I decided that I am going to drive around this area just to see the damage. If there's any damage, let's go together. And of course you can see some broken trees. Thank God there's no house nearby right here. Okay. A lot of trees are broken, especially if they're they've been around. As you can see, the signs are gone. This is the um, borderline of Mount Dora and Tangerine. So I am right now heading to. Um, I'm in between Mount Dora and Tangerine, just driving around. As you can tell. Look at the tree stump. Yes, it, it was rooted up from the ground. Yes, Milton did damage. <laughs> yes, and further up, I don't know if it was um, showing to so this video, further up there is a hanging wire, um, electrical wire in the road. So, of course, we all have to be careful of going nearby there. Right here, guys, this is this was a pond behind this these houses right here. And for the first time in many, many, many years, I was told that the pond, this is a whole pond of water took over the whole um, compound as you can tell so they're all blocked in right now the cars can't drive through they either have to take the helicopter or something I'm not trying to make jokes guy but this is real nobody can pass here through the water by car so something got to take place the water is they're all flood out so they are blocked in on the other side of the compound here and of course right now I'm driving my brother is here with me just going around and right here you can see the tree split yes Milton did damage and of course you can tell on other channels you know I am just showing you what's happening in Tangerine Medora and I don't even know what is happening where I live in Tampa area so I I decided to come to my father in Tangerine during this hurricane yes so this is what I am viewing a day or the morning after the Hurricane Milton. Father, God, we have to be grateful because guess what? I am here making a video so you can see. That means I am fine, guys. Yes, if you're asking, I am fine. I am doing great. Thanks be to God. I am doing great. These houses are um, great. Everything is well on these houses. As you can tell, these are just the trees falling down into the road, the side of the roads. And, you know, we just have to be grateful because many houses and land are damaged and so far so good so we just have to pray for each other and just keep going keep going because god gave us another chance to just keep moving into his direction you know because he gave us chances but it's not all the time he is going to stand by, you know? You don't want your heart to be harder. 
let's just do what we have to do and live do what we have to do and live as as you can tell there is a lot of tree uh, particles the, the um, bushes but that's the least of all damage right now in tangerine and modora guys be blessed if you have damage just and you're still awake alive still be grateful because it could have been worse there's other people that honestly yes none of us want to lose our stuff i understand it all i do i do understand it but guess what we still have to be grateful no matter what blessing guys please take care of yourselves please be mindful of where you go because there is loose electrical wires be careful of the water you're touching be careful of the water you're drinking at this in these moments after the hurricane also guys be careful take care of the kids because kids are curious and you never know kids are curious watch them be careful I love you all God bless you God bless you all in Jesus Christ name Amen Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to stop by.